Recap. It's been an entire month and a holiday, and I just cannot seem to adjust to the clock rollback this year. Whenever 7.30 rolls around, my mind screams to curl up under a blanket and just shut down. This week, more than others, reminded me that plans need to be prepped and ready to go before November. October during the spook week by the earliest. Um, trying to plan anything November 1st and on almost seems like there's a refusal to actualize. <sighs> All right, pity party over. So other things that we did this week were we tinkered with the CNC machine, learned how to swap out the bits, Blender's update to 4.0 has made a lot of changes. Figuring out what those changes are has been an adventure, but even more is finding out how the add-ons were affected. A good portion of the week was just digging through the add-ons and seeing if they have updates or are just not working. I spent some time educating myself in the art of making of taking high poly dense data assets like this one, even though this one's not all that dense, um, and shaving off features until it can fit in an Android platform like the Quest. But then I stopped. Articles are coming out now that standalone VR systems like the Quest 3 are getting better and spaces like VR Chat are developing alternative methods to share creations with those of less p processing power. With ideas like VR Chat's Imposters, which takes a high poly model and just kind of does their own sort of translation sort of thing so that you end up getting this avatar that looks like what would be a giant statue in Minecraft, sort of. Like things are a little more pixelated, but you still get some of the detail and a lot of the um, hard work, I guess, that you put into sort of designing your character. <laughs> Um, so the headache of getting a high poly model of five or six digits worth of polygons down to a size of like 5,000 polygons might be an antiquated workflow. Hopefully. <laughs> then we come to the weekend. All right. So today is one of those rare sort of things where... There's a lot of things that are sort of scheduled and planned out. So first we're headed over to um, the second property to just kind of clean up, do the landscaping thing. Um, I don't even know if it's still considered landscaping, you know, just picking up weeds and stuff like that. Come back over here, maybe get a bite to eat just to refuel some energy. And then we got to zip all the way up to West LA and um, set up the dad's um, Christmas setup and then zip back down and relax and then I gotta go and fix up the robot for various reasons so it's a lot so it may not sound like a lot right now but um, a lot of the density of the thing is the distance that needs to be traveled. And time, I guess, just the time it takes to complete each task. One detail I did forget was um, that we do have to hunt down some glue and double-sided tape. So gardening which at the time of recording this has been finished so we've already done our hour 
and then got a bite to eat. So now we're gearing up and getting ready to go and find some double stick tape, maybe glue, set up some Christmas lights, and do the rest of the stuff. We didn't find what we wanted there, so we're moving on to Home Depot. Man, I don't know if we just got here in time or Alright, so that's it for the lights. We did the Home Depot thing and got some material. Then we got some extra lights because some of ours were blown out and stuck up on the roof. And... Now it's like 3.40 in the afternoon and we have to get on the, what is it, 405, notoriously one of the like three most dangerous highways in America, so, yay! No, it's safe, it's crowded. Still rush hour though. Yeah. A new battle royale is on the horizon. Check this out. Hi. All right, so Fortnite is unavailable. So we're gonna go into another battle royale. Rodent Royale. On that note, there are a lot of IPs running around in Fortnite. After much joking and memes, Family Guy's Peter Griffin finally joins the fray and, in a surprise twist, Lego gets in on the action as well. And so with that, that's been the recap. It was a lot. And I hope to see you for the next one. Bye.